There is one last thing I want to show you in Microsoft Word 2011 on a Mac, and that's just a little bit about using the references and bibliography items. So I have my page here, and I'm going to add some citations and references and footnotes. Now, the footer is a, an area at the bottom of the page where uh, things on appear in every page, and footnotes appear in a slightly different area at the bottom of the page. So we look at the Document Elements tab here, and I can see that the Document Elements tab has a section on citations, and references, as well as text elements. So I can insert citations by adding footnotes and endnotes. So I can just, uh, from wherever I was, insert a simple footnote by clicking on the footnote tool. And I can simply uh, type in whatever my reference was, uh, or it could be a uh, funny comment. Now, if you are uh, using a, if you're writing an academic paper, you will be given instructions based on your um, body of expertise, I guess, your study, your discipline, about what kind of format you're going to use for the um, citations. So it could actually say, in other cases, that particular citation would be. Uh, information about where I got the information from. I can move over to references here and under references you can choose from uh, four major styles of references. So I can go from APA to the MLA style and that would actually just change everything that was in my paper and I can go to manage. So under manage I'll probably get a list of my uh, citations and my documents and I can see that there are a couple of things here. There's my styles, citations, and this is uh, another item here. It's taken a while to load. What's opened up here on the screen is called the toolkit. So right now I've got the citations tool open in the toolkit and I can add some citations. Uh, they actually create a new source for my information. So usually I would type something like, well for example, the information from the textbook. I could use uh, the last name was uh, Martin, his guy's name is Martin Evans, although there are actually three uh, authors on this title, so I'm going to skip that information. Now the title of the textbook is Technology, Technology in Action, and just be aware that uh, this city was actually in uh, Upper Saddle River, somewhere in the states. And I, it's in the uh, United States of America. And there's a bunch of other required information. So for example, Pearson is the name of the publisher and the year that the textbook is printed. It was printed this year, but they call it the 12, 13 edition, 2013 edition. So that's just one type of source and you could be a different type of source depending on uh, where the information came from. All of this is the exact same as you'd find it in the um, Word for Windows. So now we actually have our citation, one citation listed there. And now if I move around into my document, I can go to another part of my document. You see that that Evans got formatted and I can actually add in uh, convert to static text, edit the citation, edit the source, or I can simply move on and then finally create a bibliography or a work cited. You do one or the other depending on your discipline. I'll just choose works bibliography. Notice how I got stuck right in the middle of my paper there. Probably not want to do that. Control Z. I'm going to go back to the bottom of my document and I'm going to insert a new page. Page break. And now that I get on my new page, I'll insert a bibliography. And there you see that the name of the author, the book is underlined in this particular layout. But if I switch from MLA to Chicago to APA, that automatically changes the bibliography and other citation and references to the proper format. So that's a little bit about using references and citations in Microsoft Word 2011 for Mac.